The general doesn't see anyone without an appointment. The time has come at last, my friend. We now have the means to fight back against this dragon invasion and sin. A dragon nests on a nearby island. I believe it plans to attack Senchal. We need to slay the creature before it strikes. General Renmus, leader of Senchal's military forces, could commandeer a ship to sail us to the island. We need to arrange a meeting with the general. Now, meeting with an Imperial general is faster said than done. The paperwork alone would take days to file. Your aid and this handful of jewels. First, you must bribe Renmus' scribe Nadama to put us on the schedule. You also need to delay Arniel Bronk, who was scheduled to meet with the general today. Arniel, lucky be willing, all will go well, and our meeting with General Renmus will commence without issue. was him, I swear it! Sai Sahan, in the flesh. The last time anyone saw him was in the Imperial City. Let's say you really did see him, and you aren't just drunk off your arse. Why would he come all the way out here? I don't know, but it must be Imperial. There's always more to do. Badra speaks true. The dragons fought each other. Your eyes are what they're used to be. Whether it or will or waver, Tarku is your savior. Interesting. Most interesting. Ah, yes. These beauties will do quite nicely. If the dragons fight each other, they aren't eating us. It sounds good to me. None of these sounds good. None of it. Well, at least it can't get any worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't you see that I'm trying to drink away my sorrows? It's an extremely delicate process, you know, doesn't it? require company today <laughs> you are very very funny hmm, i didn't know you were feeling so generous walker thanks for the generous donation i'm going to finish my drink and then find the next ship off of this moon's forsaken city if dragons weren't bad enough all these refugees will eat senshal out of house and home i'm leaving yeah! of them? I do not know. We must know. There's no work in Senchal. How will we feed them? We can't go back home, dearest. There's nothing left. I know. I... I'm scared. I don't want the children to starve. Think because I'm Khajiit, I won't mind Arniel you stealing? Bronk. We're ready for you now. Finally, I thought I'd never get off this dock. You said you had a ship manifest. May this one inspect it. Yes, if you must. Right on. All right, this should take long.
Well? Let's finish this ugly business, then get a drink. You're buying. No? All right. But what will you do for me, sweet thing? I must be cursed. Were you able to secure a meeting with General Renmus? And so we must prepare for our first battle, my friend. A battle of wits. But not much. And what I do know, I'm not sure what it means. A ship sailed directly to the Dragon's Island recently. It displayed no banners, and no one in Senchal recognized it. It's possible we're not the only dragon hunters in Southern Elsewhere. I won't discount the possibility, but I also won't plan for it. For all we know, this ship was bound for another destination. Halt! Official business only. We have an appointment with General Renmus. Here, our papers. These seem to be in order. All right, you can go in. It's not every day that Captain Sai Sahan graces my office. Greetings, General. I am here to request a ship to hunt down a nearby dragon. Slay a dragon. And this from a man who couldn't even protect our Emperor. Perhaps you should speak to my companion. They can share the details of our plan. So, you're a companion of the infamous Captain Sai Sahan. Though I suppose that title no longer means anything, given the current state of Cyrodiil. Well then, care to share? An admirable venture, I'll admit, if not a foolhardy one. Unfortunately, I have neither the ship nor crew to lend you for such an expedition. The city Which is precisely why I can't agree to your request. If a dragon does attack Senshal, I'll need every soldier and ship under my command here to defend the city. Thank you for your time, General. Come, my friend. Let's speak outside. What do you want? Guilty? Who am I to judge? <laughs> but I must insist. Well, that worked out. Well, look in there. Favor. Wait, we have a guest. Hold on. I think I know someone who can help you. Hello, I'm Aelia Renmus, General Renmus's daughter. I couldn't speak freely in front of my father, but I might know someone who can help you get to that island. Then I want to help. Or, well, send you to someone who can help you. You should speak to Zaji, captain of the Perfect Pounce. He may be a smuggler, but he cares about Senshaw. And he's... I know, I know. My father certainly wouldn't approve. He loiters around the city's outskirts, along with his first mate, Casca. Just look for a doggy rat and a sench rat arguing with each other. You can't miss them. Oh, I should head back to the palace. Good luck. It was him, I swear it! Sai Sahan, in the flesh. The last time anyone thought. Just buy another ship? <gasps> Can't you see that Zaji is grieving? He has lost everything. His whole... The perfect pounce! 
the finest vessel to sail the Topol Bay. So no, but Nartis does. And Zaji knows we can find him in Southgard ruins. Pounce needs provisions before it sets sail. And that's what Ilya sent you. Then you must be walkers of honor. And this one must admit, slaying a dragon sounds quite heroic. Very we must head to Southgard ruins and search for Nartis. It's a coastal town of sorts, just south of Senchal. With some... Kaska? Why, she's the Pounce's first mate, of course. Don't take her manner personally, Walker. She's a Khajiit of... <laughs> she didn't earn the title Kaska the Unconquered without biting off a few heads. Do not try... He is the newest member of Zaji's crew. Came aboard only... A must sneak in, Kaska. Sneak. You do remember how to do that, yes? I remember the last time you tried to sneak somewhere. Did you ever remove all those cactus spines from your arse? <gasps> those cactus spines never stung as much as your betrayal, Kaska. Oh, yes, my third betrayal of the day. But who's counting? Our new companions certainly love to quarrel. Zaji wants to infiltrate the encampment and take Nartis by surprise. Kaska, on the other hand, suggests we launch a frontal assault and deal with him directly. Very well. We'll start our search at the north entrance. I'll follow your lead. Luckily, Zaji provided a map of the area. I've... Enough. Do you accept the plan? It is an excellent plan. We'll circle around to the back, yes? And knowing your mouth will alert every pirate in South I'm going to take the lay of the land. I'll meet you at the end of the town. I don't see Nartis. Let's move on. Sign of the Dark Elf here. Let's head north. Right there. He locked the door. Stand back. Quickly now. After him. Well, that's one way to catch a thief. Walkers, good to see you. Look who Zaji found. Why don't you say hello? Please, Zaji. Don't let Kaska Usually, Zaji is the one who does the talking, but his spell work is a tad rusty. All right, all right, I admit it. I stole the perfect pounds and brought it here to Southgard. 
I sold the ship to Admiral Irathi, but they haven't set sail yet. The ship... I... Did, did I say slaves? <laughs> Silly me! I meant cargo. They're loading cargo. I would... All right, yes, yes, Arathi is a slaver. But I swear, I didn't know that until after I sold her the ship. Please, you... Zaji wants you to know there are no hard feelings. In our business, it's sink or swim, yeah? <laughs> You can't swim. <laughs> that went exactly as planned, which honestly may be a first for Zaji. Zaji is counting on it. There's no place for slavers in elsewhere. But there's plenty of room at the bottom of the sea. Perhaps there's not a sailor in the Topol Bay who hasn't heard of Admiral Irathi and her practices. Many... Oh, you want a plan? Uh, now, that plan would be... Zaji and the bearded one will draw away the slavers. Meanwhile, Kaska will help you secure the perfect pounce. We'll recon... Against my better judgment, I think we should follow Zaji's plan. Besides, let's just say I'm not discounting the possibility. Aelia Renda seems like a respectable woman, but she may not be the best judge of character. For now... Make sure you keep up. Make sure you... Remove that wheel lock or we'll never sail out of here. Oh, it is good to be home. We should sail for Senchal before reinforcements arrive. Excellent point. Hey, Walker! Get us out of here! I told you the captain would get the pounce back. I heard what happened from the crew. I'm glad you were there to help recover the pounce. I don't think Zaji would have handled the loss of his ship very well. I'm glad to hear it. I knew Zaji wouldn't let you down. I'm coming with you. If this... I'm good with a bow. Look, I'm aware of the risks, believe me. But this city is my home. I can't just stay behind and hope you stop this threat. This one is cleaning. You may help clean, or you may stop bothering this one. Whatever needs doing. Cleaning, mopping, stabbing, sometimes... 
Jal. You are the one who got us back the perfect pounds, yes? Yes, back when the ship belonged to a rather nasty fellow by the name of Bazahar the Bull. A heartless taskmaster who didn't care a lick about his crew. The pounds... What's not to like? He respects his crew, makes sure we're well cared for, and he... I won't deny Zaji is cunning when he wants to be, but it's Casca that keeps this ship afloat. Guess the captain got the pounce back. He always does. Not practically everything. If it weren't for old Dirge, the whole ship would sink under the weight of the grime and barnacles. Now that we've secured a vessel, our next step is to infiltrate the Dragon's Lair. If she wishes to protect her home, she should have that chance. Indeed, our journey to recover the relic may have been a long one, but it's proven to be an invaluable weapon. That another ship was seen heading toward the island. I'm not sure if its crew are friend or foe, but we must be prepared for the worst. That's the spirit. Let's discuss our plan of attack. And judging by that docked ship, we're not the only ones who have business on this island. There's a Dragon Guard proverb. Prepare your counter before the blow. In other words, if they swing at you, be ready to swing back. I spotted a cavern northeast of here. Scout it. Elia, Casca, you're with me. Stick close and prepare to fight. I'm always ready to fight. Just keep an eye on the little one. I can take care of myself, you know. This gate won't budge. Does anyone see a lever? Good to see you, warrior. Thanks for the assistance. Certainly effective. Well done, my friend.
damn this gate. Look above us, the dragon. Prepare yourselves. Inside, now, follow the beast. Who are these people, and why are they attacking us? They are enemies. These banners, motifs. There's no mistaking it. This is a Dragon Guard Sanctuary. Well said. I was able to track the dragon's movements. It should be just up ahead. Ailey? Be prepared, little one. I can smell them coming. How many? Does it matter? They... Where are you, vile beast? Show yourself! That's my horn, mortals. Tell me how you came to possess it. My companion will speak with you, dragon. But make one wrong move, and my blade will cut deep. I am Nathalar. I do not fear you, hunter. If you seek a battle, understand that it will be to the death. Zukorov. Ah, so it was Valoxin who hid it from me. Hmm. To protect our kind from the horn's power, no doubt. Such an honorable fool. And why do you seek to kill me? Are you one of Latvulan's thralls? Hmm. My oldest foe. A dragon of great power and evil intent. He gathered a cult to do his bidding, and subjugated our brothers to his cause. Though, why would I attack the Kaz city? It means nothing to me. Only Latvulan matters. Hold! This dragon means us no harm. No harm? Did we come all this way for nothing? That's still to be determined. For now, Let's spread out and see what we can find. Well, I certainly didn't factor this into my plans. This Latvalon seeks to destroy all of Tamriel. If Nathalon wants to stop that, I'd say we have a common cause. I may not like it. But Nathalar possesses knowledge about Latvalon that we just don't have. Our mission was successful, my friend. It just didn't end as we expected. We secured passage to the island, we found the dragon, and we made sure Sanchal was safe. At least from this potential threat. We also need to learn more about this dragon, Latvalon. If it does indeed wish to destroy all of Tamriel, then an alliance is our best way to end that threat. If we're to fight back against Latvalon, we'll need more than a single dragon. We'll need an order dedicated to eradicating this threat. The time has come to reform the Dragon Guard. I do. The crew of the Perfect Pounce already helped us on one dragon hunt. I'd like you to see if they join us for many more. Let's hope Zaji takes our offer seriously. He may find it hard to believe that we want his crew to join the Dragon Guard. In fact, I'm having a hard time believing it myself. Members of the Dragon Guard were the premier soldiers of the Empire. They were master strategists, disciplined and honor-bound. Yes, how could I forget? I led young Aelia in her first battle.
Zaji knew his gut was right. Only a truly great warrior could tame a dragon. Really? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Who wouldn't want the daring Zaji by their side? The over... Zaji is not one to hesitate, Walker. Not when it's... Hmm? Ah, yes. <laughs> Zaji will speak to the crew. However, there are two crew members you may wish to speak with personally. Dirge the Dragon Guard! Gee! Who's a good-for-nothing lout now, mother? Ah. Dirge Traptor has more book smarts than the rest of my crew combined. Now, that's not saying much, since most of my crew can't read. The, well, Dirge has an awful lot of contacts. Ah, she's Barry the Chipper, as she is known. You'll see why as soon as you hear her. Our mysterious crew has departed. Those left alive to depart, that is. They... Very well. I will... Why would I hesitate? These dragons killed many of my people, and I cannot fight them alone. So I will... The Dragon Guard would have very strict order, yes? I doubt our crew would do well with too many rules. Perhaps... We're in a dragon guard sanctuary. My father would tell me stories about the order when I was little. Protect you want me to join your order? I mean, that isn't to say I don't want to. Of course I do. I want to protect my home before the dragons destroy it. I just... I didn't expect you to ask me to stay. We only face the darkness of fear so that we may find the light of courage. I have to admit, our dragon guard does seem a little motley at the moment. Perhaps. I spent my childhood in Cyrodiil. My father was a commander under Emperor Leovic, and my mother was a Red Guard ambassador. Her name was Sadala. I had a tough time fitting in with my peers. They were always questioning who I was. Was I Imperial? Was I a Red Guard? They wanted to put me in a neat little box, but I didn't quite fit. And father received orders to come to Central and help with the restoration. He didn't plan to take me along, as I was only 13 at the time. Then my mother died, and everything changed. Exactly. And a new city helped take my mind off of other things. I felt... Yeah. Can you see I'm reading? Mm, trying to read. Oh. Thought it might have been some sort of code. Well, Captain says a lot of things. Like more riches than we can count, and easy as a spring breeze. Now here we are, hunting dragons like they're some kind of sky whales. Anything, Dragon Guard. Books on killing dragons without getting eaten, I hope. When I scare up some leads, I could use your help retrieving them. What do you want? Not surprising. I am the only one who can keep a ledger around here. You hunt dragons. I figure out where the dragons are. And what to do with any parts you bring back, yes? Hit them up.
Nathalar and I have come to an agreement. We'll work together to defeat Latvalan, but only that. After our battle is won, Nathalar will peacefully depart from these lands. Now, excellent. I'll meet with him and his crew to discuss the particulars. For aiding me in the establishment of our new Dragon Guard, accept this reward. Oh. You are wise to ally yourselves with me. Lot Vulan will not stop until Tamriel is destroyed. He has raised an army and forced my brothers to join his crusade. Those... A dragon's words have power few mortals understand. When we swear an oath, we are bound by it. That is our way. The dragon Yagrandu vowed to aid me in a time of need. I do, but I do not know where he hides. I leave that task to you. Finding Yagrandu requires a test of skill rather than mere bravery. I... Yagrandu ran afoul of a powerful dragon hunter in a time before the dragon god. I found him, injured and cornered, and offered my aid uh, for a price. No... My kind call it a sosmir, a blood allegiance. It is an unbreakable bond, strong... Yeah,